Hi there. My name is Greg Persinger, and I'm the owner of Vivid Illumination. Over the years, I've worked with hundreds of different churches, and I've picked up lots of tips and techniques along the way. I'd like to share some of those techniques with you in these church tech talks. Welcome to today's topic, which is DMX cable versus mic cable. It seems like it's not very much, uh, you know, not a very exciting topic, but it's actually a really important topic because it's the lifeblood of your lighting rig. Uh, I like to look at DMX cable as being the, uh, um, the blood vessels for your, your lighting rig. And uh, you gotta move that data to keep your rig working. So let's talk a little bit about it. First of all, um, let's talk about DMX. So DMX stands for digital multiplex. Um, basically what we're doing is we're taking um, one cable and we're putting multiple control um, on that cable so we can control multiple fixtures. Basically DMX is based on uh, two standards. It's based on the uh, RS485 electrical standard and it's based on the USITT communications protocol. Now I know that standards are you know, kind of tech speak and, and boring but they are important and I'll get to that in a minute. First of all in the standard, um, we have the cable. The cable is of utmost importance. A lot of times people say, hey, you can use microphone cable instead of DMX cable, but that's not true. Basically, the electrical standard tells us what cable that we need um, so that we're you know, compliant and that everything works together the way that it's supposed to. On top of that, runs the USITT uh, DMX communications protocol, which is nothing more than the language that the uh, dimmers and the lights speak. So why are the standards important? Well, the standards are the best practices um, that we can use to make our lighting rigs run seamlessly and without issue. Essentially, the cable is specifically designed for the transmitters and the receivers that um, the system uses. And as long as we stay within that specification, everything works well. When we use microphone cable, the microphone cable doesn't have the proper electrical specification, has a different resistance and a different capacitance. And what happens is it begins to corrupt the data as the data travels down the cable. It's especially true the longer that the cables get. So what happens is as you go along and the data gets corrupted, um, the lights start to flicker or um, you know, the lights don't move properly, things black out for a second and then come back. And a lot of times, you know, I'll get calls saying, hey, you know, I'm having problems with my lighting system. You know, what's going on? Nine times out of 10, it's some type of, of cable problem and microphone cable especially um, uh, exacerbates the problem. So we don't want to use microphone cable um, in the system at all. If we look at a waveform of DMX, DMX is a square wave and it travels down the line and if we use the wrong cable type, what happens is the front of the wave gets rounded off instead of being nice and square, and the fixtures have a hard time interpreting what that data um, means. The other thing that I hear about is termination. So a terminator is nothing more than a connector with a 120 ohm resistor across pins two and three. Very simple. But what it does is it plugs into the very last fixture, um, last device on your line, and as the uh, signal travels down the line, when it hits the very end, that terminator absorbs the energy and keeps the um, energy from reflecting back down the line. Now, if you don't have the terminator, what happens is that energy bounces back, interferes with the um, incoming data that's fresh coming from the console, and you begin to have problems as well. Many times I get told, hey, we don't need to terminate, or if I ter put a terminator on it, then my whole rig has a problem. Well, a lot of times if you put a terminator on the line and you have an issue, really what it is is it's not the terminator causing the issue, but you have bad cable in your system and it's running right on the edge without the terminator. And whenever you put the terminator in, it causes the, the line to fail and gives you issues. So what we have is if you use a five pin connector with DMX cable, you have a DMX compliant cable. If you use a three pin connector with actual DMX cable, you have a DMX compatible cable. While both of them pretty much do the same thing, one meets the standard and one doesn't meet the standard. Now, microphone cable does not meet the standard at all. So if you're using microphone cable, it's just wrong and shouldn't be in your lighting rig at all. And the reason for that is, like we said earlier, 
um, it doesn't meet the electrical characteristics and it's going to cause you problems with your, your system. The bottom line is, is we should follow the specification and always use a uh, DMX cable even if it's using a 3-pin XLR connector. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us and I uh, hope you tune in to uh, the rest of the videos in the series.